I would buy every bike that I see. Let's get into it. Revelator Alpha. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alpha. Hope you're all well. So yes, on the, the back roads again here with the heroic Harley. And uh, thoroughly enjoying my riding experience. However, uh, my love of this bike, I do acknowledge that is not suitable for all journeys. So yes, you've got different bikes for different applications, let's say, or different riding styles. And if I look at the whole plethora of motorcycle models out there, I've got to say there probably isn't one out there that I would not have uh, in my stable of bikes if I owned a big warehouse like a Jay Leno type thing and so I'm going to have every motorcycle that's ever been made and I'm going to have it right now many of you might be thinking what is he on about now uh, you know would I have a 50cc well yeah I would would I have a little scooter yeah I would uh, would I have a 125 well I've already got one of those uh, would I have uh, I don't know an Indian a KTM a, 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 an Indian motorcycle like a Bajaj yeah Chinese yeah I'd have it all I'd have every single one and I'll tell you why because purely and simply I'm a motorcycle nut, that's why. Uh, you know, that's the, the simplest truth of it. Yes, I do have my preferences and the, the bikes that I particularly like or the brands that I particularly like, but let's have it right, okay? Every motorcycle brand has its failings, has its triumphs and has its failings as well. And, you know, Harley Davidson, for example, which I love to ride here, they make some great bikes, but they also have some issues as well. Now, many of you out there who are motorcycle nuts like me might say, well, I ride a Triumph or I ride a BMW and those are the kind of bikes I'll, I'd always own, but I'll ride anything. And that's pretty much the way I am. I will definitely ride anything, but I'm telling you that if I could, I'd own anything as well. Now, I know what many of you are thinking. Say, look, Alf, you can only ride one bike at a time and there's no way you're going to have all these bikes and do anything with them. You're absolutely right. There's no way on earth that you can have all these bikes and ever ride them. It would be like a, a museum, I suppose. But I'd still have them. I'd still have the bikes. And even if I didn't have them legal on the road, I'd have a, like some kind of um, uh, compound, let's say, or my own little mini racetrack where I just take them out every now and again and just give them a, you know, a little, uh, a little twist of the throttle and away I go just for my own pleasure. Yes, I'm a nut. I can't help it. So what's the point of this video? And I'll tell you the point of this video. The point is not that I would buy every motorcycle that I could uh, in my big stable of bikes and have my own compound. It's got nothing to do with it. Actually, it's to do with the, the attitude, I suppose, or the point of view where people are so specific about a motorcycle that they ride and also that they own. Now, of course, we all have our preferences, and this is not about that. This is about those individuals, those riders, those bikers, whatever you want to call them, who are steadfast in their loyalty to a particular brand or a particular motorcycle. And that's what I really can't understand. I can't understand this blind faith or blind loyalty to a brand let's say like Harley Davidson or a BMW KTM uh, Triumph whatever it is uh, but not acknowledge any other bikes or not even have the desire to want to ride other bikes or even own other bikes I just don't get it because for me it's always been about a riding experience and it's about being on two wheels for me for the most part and I get in the biking world that trikes can have a place as well uh, of course but I've never really, well, I've never ridden one. I'd love to ride one, but I've never ridden one. I've thought about building one before, but I've never actually ridden one. So, you know, I can't really say. But in terms of two-wheeled riding machines, I'd ride anything. And I'd enjoy it as well, I'm sure. Now, some of you who are watching this video said, well, why do you ride a Harley Davidson? And I'll say this, well, I just love it. And I, I love the look of it. I love the riding experience of it. I love a lot of what Harley Davidson do now at my point of life if you'd asked me 20 years ago i would have i would have laughed in your face i would say no chance however as years pass and my riding styles change or my riding appetite changed uh then it kind of fell into line with what i was looking for in a motorcycle 
Now, I say, that doesn't mean that I, I wouldn't hop on a sports bike or a, or a motocrosser or a, an enduro bike or a, a commuter or anything like that, or electric bike or whatever it is. You know, I'd still jump on those bikes, but my preference for my riding style now on the road is more sat upright, it's more laid back, more cruiser style, and just, you know, hitting the back roads and just enjoying my riding experience. Not in any rush to get anywhere fast. I can if I want to, but I'm not in that much of a rush. So do you know what? This suits me perfectly and I enjoy it. But I still love every other bike out there. And that's why I'm probably be the worst motorcycle reviewer on the internet because I could genuinely find favor in any motorcycle that I ride. And it would be hard for me to find faults. Yes, I could always do that and I could nitpick and find, look at the pros and cons, but I'd always enjoy the experience. So over to you, uh, what is your riding preference? Let's say your motorcycle preference. Do you have a brand that you'll always go to? Or is it just about the bike? You look at the bike and you say, that will suit me right now for the kind of riding that I wanna do, regardless of what brand it is. And I'm kind of that way. If I kind of change direction in my, in my motorcycling habits, I'll look at a bike that will suit my, needs that will suit my purpose um and not necessarily just look at harley davidson's i would look at anything like a bmw or a triumph or whatever it is whatever it is i would look at that are you the same or are you different are you just going to go by a particular brand and what about the notion of just riding anything owning anything are you similar to me that you will ride anything and you did just enjoy the riding experience or are you very particular about what bike you ride where you ride it and how you ride it. I'm not sure there's a right answer here. I'm sure some of you might tell me there is a right answer. I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, genuinely don't know what is the right answer. For me, it's always been about as long as it's got two wheels and an engine of sorts, I'm going to enjoy it. What about you? Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell, like and share. Check out the website revelatorelf.com. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Tell her.